Hey guys, welcome back to Maison Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna to be talking fragrance. <laughs> guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below show your girl some love alrighty so let's get into it I've always loved fragrance I don't know if it's like the Caribbean in me or what it is but I love fragrance Caribbean people love fragrance my mom I'm gonna see if I can get her to send me a picture of her perfume collection for this video but maybe i get it from her um growing up she's always had like a vanity full of fragrances and so it's something that i got into quite some time ago and today i want to share with you guys some of my faves so originally i kind of wanted to share like my favorite summer fragrances but then i realized everything is kind of interchangeable i would say there's only one in all of the fragrances i'm going to show you guys today that i typically only wear in the summertime um but the rest of them i wear year round so for me fragrance is a little bit more personal than that um i tend to pick my fragrance on where i'm going like a true caribbean and how i'm feeling so that being said like a true caribbean i have fragrances like my mom that i like to wear to bed there's two in my collection that i love for bedtime just because i feel as though they kind of zen me out they calm me down and they help me to fall asleep quicker and just relax then i have uh, one or two that I love to wear to work. I feel like it sets the tone for my day. It helps me feel elevated and refreshed for my day. Uh, there's one that I like to wear when the days are rough and I can't wake up and it kind of gives me like a jump start to my day um, and really picks me up and helps me get going. There's also fragrance I like to wear at night if I'm going out and I'm getting dressed up. And then there's fragrance that I like to just wear in the summertime, as I mentioned before, or I'm going to the beach, something like that. So we're going to get into five of my favorite fragrances today with an honorable mention of three additional ones. But yeah, let's get into it. So as you guys can see, I've got all of my fragrances laid out for you right on over here. And I think the first one I'm going to introduce you to is my clean reserve so it's definitely uh one of my favorites it's by a brand called clean reserve and they have a ton of scents uh this particular one is called skin and it is in their um floral musk uh category so um this actually you guys can see how much i love it like my bottle is almost done, so it's almost time for a re-up. But I love this one for bed. I don't wear it to go out at all. It's just really calming and soothing and helps me fall asleep nicely. And so I literally just wear this every single night after my shower. I put it on and it helps me calm down. I usually get this one at Sephora. It retails for $98, so not really that expensive in the realm of what you can pay for fragrance. The notes on this one are gonna be fresh musk, copabia oil, and salted praline. So I kind of have I kind of have an obsession with sweet fragrance, and so I guess I can see why I would like this. I didn't know that it has uh, salted pralines in it. Uh, also, it has um, creamy Madagascar vanilla, and vanilla has always been one of my favorite go-tos, even as a teenager. So, really nice one if you like something a little bit sweeter and muskier, something to wear to bed. I presume you can wear it out and about too, but it's just how I like to wear this one. Another one of my favorites that I've been rocking with for a long time is this Jo Malone Cardamom and Mimosa scent. So 
I've been wearing this one maybe for, it's probably the one I've been wearing the longest, maybe for about seven or eight years. It's one that I love to wear to bed as well. So sometimes I alternate between this and the skin one. Um, of course, it has mimosa in it. It has cardamom in it. And although I wear this one to bed, I'll also wear it to work sometimes or if I'm having like a crazy day and I feel like I need a little zen moment, I need to calm down. I'll just like spritz a little bit of this right here and spray it there and just take a couple breaths and it really helps to calm me down. So uh, one of my favorites for sure. Again, you can find this one at Sephora. It does come in two different sizes. Uh, this is the smaller one. I got it since, again, I just kind of use it for bed or to calm me down a little bit. This one retails for $75. And then there is a bigger one, which is 100 ml. That one is $150 or $140, something like that. But you can find it at Sephora. You can find it at Nordstrom. A lot of places actually do carry Jo Malone. Keynotes for this guy, it's going to be uh, Coconut Essence, which again, makes perfect sense for me. It's a little bit sweeter. I'm kind of like a coconutty vanilla kind of girl. Um, it has Ilang Ilang, which is really nice. Um, I've learned quite a bit about Ilang Ilang from a Louis Vuitton fragrance that I actually like. Um, apparently it's like the national flower of the Philippines. So like my Filipino aunties at Louis Vuitton, they love themselves some Corbutan. That's another fragrance. It didn't make my list, but it's actually pretty good stuff. And it's in, it's in this one. I did not know that. It also has Frangipani flower. I don't know what that is. I guess I'll have to look it up and see what the sense of that kind of is. But overall, a really great fragrance and I think you guys will love it. So you guys have been watching for a while now. I know y'all are liking my fragrance and whatnot, but y'all gonna like this video? Go ahead, just like it. If you're liking these scents, comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Just go ahead, push the button right now. The subscribe button's right there, right below. <laughs> Next on my list is going to be a Trap Rev by Louis Vuitton. Um, you guys know that I work for Louis Vuitton and so, I have tried all of our fragrances. I think right now for the women's fragrance, we've got maybe about 12 and there's four unisex and then there's like five men's and three ouds. There's a lot of fragrance now, but this one is close to my heart. I love it. Again, it's called A Trap Rev. And um, the fragrance is at Louis Vuitton. It's 100 ml. It retails for uh, $265, but fun fact about it is Louis Vuitton offers refills on your fragrances. So once your bottle is empty, you can bring it back in, get it refilled, and the refills are $165. Another personal touch is you can get your bottle engraved, so you can put your initials on the bottle or a special date or even like your name if it were five characters or less, which mine isn't, so it didn't make the bottle. Um, but this is one that I like to wear to work. Um, it's just a very sweet floral scent. In fact, the key notes are uh, peonies and lychees. So I always say to clients, it's a little sweet, a little floral. Um, other notes, it has cacao, back to the sweet, um, patchouli heart, Turkish rose absolute, and ginger. I did not know about the ginger part. Interesting. I sell this every day. Um, so you can see, like I said, a little sweet, a little floral. I love this one for work. It kind of sets the tone for my day, gets me in the mindset. And yeah, I think definitely one you guys should try. It comes with this like cute little magnetic closure. It's a goodie. Oh, and I forgot just a little fun um, fact. A trap rev actually means a uh, dream catcher. So hmm, something I could probably wear to bed as well, but I've just kind of classified it as a work scent. Next on my list is going to be Les Jours et les Vies by Louis Vuitton again. As you guys can see, I must have a lot of um, days where I can't get up because I love this fragrance. So. It's one that I usually wear like when I have my morning shifts at work or 
I'm like, I have an appointment in the morning and I can't wake up because it's so fresh and citrusy. It just kind of gets you going. Again, just like the previous fragrance, this one, it's $265. Refills are $165. And um, Le Jour C'est La Vie actually means daybreak. So makes perfect sense as to why I love it so much and why it gets me up and going in the morning time. So this one has notes of Mandarin from Italy. It has black currant, accord, sambac, jasmine, incense, and musk, peonies, and osmontis. Like, what are these flowers and how have I never heard of them? Usually when I'm talking about this one at work, I tend to mention the um, Mandarin because it's the most prominent note, but I actually didn't realize that it has peonies in it as well, which makes sense as to why I like it because the Trap Rev also has peonies in it. The fifth fragrance that I'm going to introduce you guys to today is actually my uh, Dolce and Gabbana fragrance. This one, it's called Garden. So I know that it comes in a bigger size, but originally when I opted for this one, I was like, eh, I don't know if I will love it. So let me just try the smaller one. And I'm glad I did. Uh, I got it last summer and I still haven't finished it as you can see. Um, but this one makes me really happy. I love to wear it in the summertime. I wear it to go to the beach just because it's got that really nice summer vibe. Like it's kind of coconutty, uh, sunscreen, just very warm kind of scent. This size that I have, it's a 30 ml and it retails for uh, $76 at Sephora. That's where I got it. And um, yeah, man, it's really good. The fragrance notes it says are coconut essence, so that makes sense. This one also has ilang ilang, which is kind of cool. I'm kind of finding uh, similarities in the fragrances that I like that I didn't realize before I actually sat here and read some of the notes. So it seems as though your girl really likes herself some peonies and ilang ilang. Um, it also has frangipani flower. I don't know what that is, but another one to look up. It falls in the warm family. So you guys can see that I kind of like warm, musky fragrances that have vanillas and coconuts and things like that. So I think if you're looking for a good summer scent, oh my gosh, this is the way to go. The bottle is so pretty too. It's got this cute little floral top to it. And I like it. This is the one that I am actually wearing today because it is uh, super hot out. We're gonna go to the pool after this. So it kind of sets the vibe as chill. It definitely has that sunscreen scent to it and coconut, I love it. So guys, those are the five fragrances that I am currently wearing the most that I wear year round for whatever I do. I do have two more though that I wanna introduce you guys to. They're also by Louis Vuitton. Of course, because I work for Louis Vuitton, I tend to wear the fragrances from there a lot more because they're easily accessible and um, they're just really good, honestly. Um, Louis Vuitton actually has a perfumery. It's in Grasse, France, which is the fragrance capital of the world. Um, we also have a master perfumer. His name is Jacques Cavalier, and he makes all of the fragrances at Louis Vuitton. I mean, he's been studying fragrance since he was a child. Um, he comes from a lineage of uh, master perfumers. His daughter is training to be a master perfumer. So there's a lot that goes into the fragrances at Louis Vuitton and that's why I love them so much. At Louis Vuitton, we like to say that we have the savvy faire which means the know-how. So that's one thing that I'm proud of um, working for Louis Vuitton is that whenever we do something, we want to do it the best, we want to be the best. And so we go where the best is and we literally went to Gras, fragrance capital of the world, opened up shop there and took things over, okay? So quick mention, I love this one. It's called Sun Song. It's actually one of the unisex scents at Louis Vuitton. 
I like it a lot because it's like also one of those um, fragrances that lends to summer. It kind of represents the endless summer day. And again, it's just kind of really um, fresh and clean for the summer. The notes are orange blossom, lemon, bergamot, neroli, jasmine, and again, musky notes because I like musky notes. So just really cool one to wear for the summertime. Sometimes when I'm at work and I've like have my break I've eaten and I'm feeling a little sluggish I'll throw this one on because it kind of picks me up and helps me through the second half of my day and of course we couldn't go through all of the fragrances without mentioning Rose Devon by Louis Vuitton um same idea as the rest of them it's an honorable mention because it was a part of the original um first seven fragrance at Louis Vuitton and this is the one that everybody originally loved the most um it's definitely a floral scent um it has May rose in it and Turkish rose. Apparently the rose in it only blooms at a certain time of year, May, cause it's May rose. Um, but I always tell clients for me this one, it's just kind of whimsical. When I put it on, that's how I feel. I feel like a lady, you know? So another great one that you guys might like and enjoy. Another honorable mention that I wanted to share with you guys, it's actually not fragrance for your body but it's fragrance for your linen. So every night when I go to sleep, I have the slip pillowcase, the like the pink silk one, helps really nicely with your hair because I don't always put a headscarf on. It's a challenge for me. And so I really like this one. It's the um, Slip Sleep Mist and it comes in the scent Lavender. And so this is something that I spritz onto my pillow and it um, really does help you kind of relax too and fall asleep. So I thought I'd share that with you guys, something that you could purchase and love as much as I do. Also guys, don't forget about the giveaway of the Tatcha and Origin uh, skincare products. I hit 100 subscribers on my channel and I wanted to do something nice for you guys. So check out this video right here here and it'll give you instructions on how to enter that contest. Today is actually the very last day. So go check it out, enter, subscribe to my channel and win yourself some free stuff, girl. So also, as you guys can see, things are looking a little bit different around here. Um, my last video was like almost two weeks ago because we moved and I've been busy like been super busy with work uh, but we're finally kind of settled in and so I've got like a new little nook in my bedroom that I'll be shooting some of my videos in um, moving was quite the process but I'm glad that we are here we've got so much more room and I've got tons of videos coming your way about like my decorating that I'll be doing kind of excited about it but thank you guys always for stopping by Maison Molly. I appreciate you guys. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one.